Hey guys, it's John. I'm playing five minute. I'm playing uh, I am Yummy Two. Yummy Two. This is Yan Lao. I'm gonna hit him with the Scandinavian. I've been playing a lot of this, but I just can't help myself because my results have been good, and it seems like the viewers like to see this opening. I've just been playing it for so long. So this guy's a young man, young international master from California. I want to say he's like maybe 14, 15 years old or so. I think he set the record for youngest master in the U.S. at one point, since been surpassed, I think, by Wander Liang. Yummy too. Pretty good rating. I'm going to go queen b6 and just attack this d4 pawn. This is actually a tricky line where they delay the development of the kingside knight. There's some stuff that uh, has to be avoided for black in this position. I'll just put it that way. <laughs> G4 is a little strange. I kind of wanted to take on D4 against that, but he takes on F7 check. I didn't like that. I would not have played G4 if I were him. I don't think that was so precise, but we'll see. Okay, I want to rule out knight e5, so I'm going to... Should I play an unconventional move? Yeah, let's do this. This is just trying to rule out knight e5. So like if he goes h4, I can play h5. And I don't have to worry about his knight jumping in and hitting my bishop. Very, very rarely does black do this, like develop this knight before the other knight in this opening. So I'm going to take that for what it's worth. All right, let's just play e6. You can castle queenside. Place bishop b3. Hmm. If knight out, maybe g5 is his idea. So let's go bishop e7 first. How about that? Yeah. And then prepare to play knight f6. I only want to play knight f6 when g5 can be met safely by knight d5. And he can't take and then take again, if that makes sense. Okay, so here, if I play h5, he was g5, I can't develop my knight out this way. So um, maybe h6 is decent. Looks like a better way to play it. I think he has some edge here, though, because I my development's a little convoluted right now. Specifically this knight. Like, he could, he could castle. Yeah, castle, and if uh, I play my knight out, then g5 might be a problem. Hmm. Eh, maybe that's not that big of a deal. Let's just do it. It's it's the most normal looking move. I didn't want to castle queenside or anything quite yet. Alright, so here, let's take it. If he takes with the pawn, I gotta figure out which way to where to put my knight. D D5 or D7. This is a common dilemma black has in this line. Typically you'd play knight d5, but. We're in a slightly unorthodox position for this line. Knight d5, my only concern is that he can maybe take with his knight. Uh, okay, I shouldn't be that concerned about that. Never mind. Take with his knight, I take here, he gives a check. It's maybe somewhat troubling. Knight d7, he plays f4. I go knight c5, perhaps. Just don't want to get run over in the center. Knight d7, f4. Hmm. I'm going to go knight d5. It's the more active move. Seems to make a little more sense. Let's drop this guy back. Just don't want this bishop to get shut out with like f4, f5 later. Okay. So if I take this way, he can go e6, perhaps. Is the thing. If I take this way, he has that check that's annoying. Hmm. I'm going to take this way. I'm going to let him check if he wants. Check. And go king f8. I'm not happy about that, like especially in regards to this rook. And it looks like I'm coming into an attack. But I like the fact that I can go rook c8 after this. And I might have some initiative. So... Let's just hope that that works out for me. Uh, bishop c5. Seems fine. Hmm. 
Queen a5 might be even better. The nice thing is if he ever plays f4, I can stick my bishop on e4. And later I hope to get my king out through e7 to connect my rooks again. Because the chances that I play g6 are kind of low in this position. It just doesn't seem like a good idea. Uh, hmm. Let's just go rook c8. Stop him from going rook d4, then I can take him. His king is a little awkward. Yeah, he just stops to like to go for a trade. What here? Let's set myself up for the end game. My rook might end up on h7. I'm thinking it will, because he's got a trade now, and then probably trade again. But the fact that my rooks here is like not that big of a deal. Maybe b5. He's saying he's going to beat me to the c file. b5. Eh, I don't know if I like b5 so much. Let's just trade. Bring my king up and over. He's got a nominal space advantage. But um, I'm going to try to like get some counterplay in the center. How to do that though? F6? Yeah, probably F6. F6, I'm a little leery about F5 though. Time is a factor now. F6, F5. If F5, I'll probably play rook e8. Don't like having less space here. Don't like it one bit. But maybe he can't do too much with it as it is. In fact, I don't think he can. Probably go a5. I should stake out some space with my queenside pawns. I don't know if rook f8, rook f7 is like that compelling of an idea. Um... Let's take this way. He might try to force a pass pawn. Let's activate the rook. I want to get my rook behind the pawn if I can. Problem is I'm going to be very tied down. Yeah, he can check. Check. Yeah, that's annoying. And then push the H pawn. This is not so good. Because now all he's, he has to do is bring his king up. Let's play this. I'll try to put my king on d6. This is a little tricky now, though. Because his king can hide on g8. Let's go rook here. If I can play e5, that's not bad. I don't think he should let me play e5. Hmm. I mean, I'd be surprised if he didn't try to bring his king in sometime soon. Hmm. Let's go e5 now. Okay, actually, this is, is perhaps not so bad. Let's give check. a check. push. He should queen now. Check. Didn't queen. What's this idea? Now he queens. Check. Okay. Um, hmm. Time warning. Let's push. Kind of want to go king c5, but I think pushing is better. Check. I think I, I might lose by its... Oh no, he can't cross the d-file. Okay, that's good. That's really good for me. If he could somehow have crossed over to the d-file, I would be in trouble here. Yeah. 
Oh wait, no! I did something bad. Didn't I? <laughs> I did something very bad and stupid. Uh, resign. <laughs> How did I mess that up? Wait. I should have just taken here. I should have just taken on B4. Okay, well, let me go back and show it. I don't know what I was thinking, but um, after this, yeah, if I just take, this is a simple draw. Because take, I can play king a2. And if here, I just go here. And then I'll get his pawn, he'll get mine. Ah, I totally blew that at the end. That's annoying. It's very annoying. Yeah, and this is just losing. My king's out of position. Interesting. You know what I didn't like that he did? For him, I don't think he should check, check on e7. I thought he should just queen directly. Because... Check. Checking might push my king into a slightly better position. Let's see. Yeah, he should just queen right away according to the engine. Check. And then check. If this happens, d3, rook d7, king here, king g7. Yeah. King f7, it says. Let's say here, king e7. He can come around this way. Yeah, now I'm one, t one tempo too short, probably. Yep, this is actually like exactly what happened in the game. He wins. So I wonder if his decision to postpone a queening for a single move. Check. I wonder if that affected things. Check. Well, that's still a win for him, apparently. He should have played rook d7 check. Uh-huh. Check. So then if I go here, it's the same thing, I suppose. Yeah, he can come around the back. That's key. Because uh, the way it happened in the game, at first I panicked because um, in Check. this position right here, if he could cross over to the d-file with his king, he would have the necessary tempo to win. Let's just say for the sake of argument, he could play king d6, I queen, he takes me, I take. He wins because he goes king c6. That's going to be like the game. But the fact that his king is not in a place to cross over, aka it's not on e7 or e8, so he can go king d8, that means he can't win this position. It's very interesting. And like a doofus, I blew it, but uh, <laughs> well, king a3, that's awful. Yeah, just take and just hang out with my king. Well, that was pretty fascinating nonetheless. Uh, I don't think anything in the middle game is super worth checking out. Yeah, I think I'll leave it at that, because that was kind of an instructive endgame. So, alright, hope you guys enjoyed that one. And I'll be back with another video today. Thanks, guys.